getting past the gatekeeper at Highland Salons. Jim O'Donnell helped me a long time ago, and I kind of just piggybacked on his idea a little bit. I got a high heel shoe. I went to a designer shoe warehouse, got a really cool high, high heel shoe. Okay? And when I was in the Marble Granite Tile business, uh, one of the guys that worked with me part time worked at Edible Arrangements. Okay? So I learned how to do Edible Arrangements. Real quick, you get fruit and, you know, and chocolates and stuff like that. And it's very quick and efficient to get some pineapple, some bananas, and you can pre make up some of these little cups with edible arrangements in them. You put them in a high heel shoe, and say it's a salon that you haven't been, or that you've been in a few times uh, with no success, but it's guys, don't let that get that, don't let that get you down. Because I've learned that typically around the third or fourth time, that's when people start to break, because they start to get used to your face. If you're out of sight, you're out of mind. But if you keep coming in there, you're showing, and also we're in the beauty industry. Look nice, smell nice. Carry yourself with an appearance of professionalism. Get a shirt with a logo on it if possible. But let them know and see and get used to who you are. So then when I walk in there, I have this high heel shoe and obviously they, this is usually on about the third or fourth time. And they're like, you know, the gatekeeper's standing there kind of questionable. But if it's possible, make, some, make a little bit of extra noise. Carry your voice a little bit louder so people start looking. And you set the high heel shoe on the counter and just say, look, I've been in here three or four times, and I need to get my foot in the door. <laughs> and it's something, and even if you don't sharpen, say that you're, you're, you're actually, I'm offering a free service today, an adjustment on anybody's shears that would like them. Can carry, carry a can of air and some oil, and you can adjust them, and that gets the process of starting to talk to these people. I noticed that you have a little chip in here. Well, how long has it been since you've been sharpened? Oh, it hasn't been that long ago, you know, and, and this and that, and you say, you know, how to test your sears to see if they're actually ready for sharpening. Now you're actually putting the tissue in the paper, you're building a relationship, they don't even realize that you started yet, and now you're showing them how to test for if their sears actually need to start to with that. Nine times out of ten, ten somebody's going to react on that, and you're going to get your foot in the way. So, 